We drive past tanks and artillery positions as we head towards the front line around the city of Luhansk. We're part of a convoy of journalists and want to visit a hospital that's treating casualties from the fighting. Artillery fire sounds in the distance. Both sides are equipped with heavy weaponry. Luhansk is only eight kilometers from here. The city is, according to Ukrainian officials, totally encircled. And people in Luhansk are suffering from shortages of water, electricity and food. But the Ukrainian soldiers I speak to do not feel like agreeing to a humanitarian ceasefire. Many feel the campaign just isn't advancing fast enough. The real problem, they say, is a lack of leadership at the very top levels of the army. Grad rockets were fired at our positions twice in 10 minutes. But it took half an hour before there was a response from our side. And even then, only three rockets. By that time, the separatists have smoked a cigarette and hidden the rocket launcher in a bunker. These soldiers are clearly not happy. Some complain of a lack of equipment. One tells us he hasn't been paid this month. And what we hear again and again is that the soldiers feel like they're cannon fodder. There's just not enough of anything. Our operations aren't well coordinated. And as for us soldiers, well, we really don't have any experience of a battle situation. We suffer losses every day. Soldiers are being killed, military equipment destroyed. How many tanks have we lost? After months of fighting, no one expects to be able to return home anytime soon. We, on the other hand, are sent back. It's too dangerous to proceed, we're told. The area around the hospital that we wanted to visit is said to be under fire. <laughs>